without question, this is the day that changed Notre Dame forever. Now let's introduce another one of our Notre Dame Day reporters, Justine Ward, who is reporting live from the bookstore basketball courts. Justine? <laughs> We're all family here. <laughs> Thank you, Abby. Yes, I'm standing near the basketball courts, near the bookstore. We all know what this means. It means bookstore basketball. It's grown into one of the largest and most look forward to traditions here at Notre Dame. And as you can see behind me, we have the women's championships actually going on right now. So in the next hour or so, we will be bringing you the winners of both the men's and women's tournaments. As I said, it's grown into one of the most look forward to traditions here at Notre Dame, over thousands of students compete in bookstore basketball. Every year, it's been a tradition since 1972, and it's actually grown into the largest five-on-five -five outdoor basketball tournament in the world. So joining us now from the bookstore basketball is John Carlson, who is the president. And here's another great thing about bookstore basketball. It's all for a great cause. Yes, it is. It's for the jump ball program, actually. And every year, we at Bookstore give around $9,000 to the jump ball program. And to give you a little history about the jump ball program, it's a week-long camp down in Kingston, Jamaica, where 300 uh, of the most impoverished kids in Kingston get to escape from the drugs, the poverty that is their everyday life, and just play basketball for free. And they love it. I've been down twice already, and it's something I've grown to love and why I really care so much about Bookstore, because you can see how much joy they get from that week long. And the exciting thing is Jump Ball is actually now moving to Haiti. They had their first uh, event last summer in Haiti, so now we're in two Caribbean countries, and it's very, very exciting indeed. Absolutely. And how much are we expecting to raise? this year? $9,000. With the 620 teams that we have every year, over 95% of the proceeds that we get from the tournament go directly to jump ball. And so all the teams out there playing know that they're playing for charity, and that's just another great part of the Bookstar Tournament. All right. Thank you, John. And now we're going to jump over here with David, who also is with the Bookstore Basketball. Now, I understand Bookstore Basketball is something that runs in your blood. Yes. Tell me about that. So I'm wearing this really cool uh, vintage jacket. Um, it's actually, it says, it says Bookstore Tour on the back of it. Um, so my dad actually, when he was at um, University of Notre Dame, he was a uh, class in 1984, um, was really involved with Bookstore. And uh, growing up, I always remember him talking about how much fun it was to come out here, you know, watch all the teams uh, play, people, uh, ridiculous costumes that they dress up in. Um, and so I was lucky enough, uh, my grandparents actually kept this in their basement uh, all these years. So when I, you know, came to Notre Dame, obviously wanted to uh, become involved in Bookstore. Um, and I have this really cool jacket now. So my name's David, too. My dad's name is David as well. So it even says Dave, like embroidered on there. And then uh, the courts back in the day used to be uh, near... Col Coleman Moore. Yeah, Coleman Moore. Yeah. So they, the bookstore used to just be in a different place. And there was, uh, there was a manhole cover on one of the courts. So like the, the tournament's old sort of slogan used to be, uh, you know, watch out for the manhole cover. But now it's uh, we play so they can play is like our motto now for jump ball. So pretty cool stuff. Well, thank you guys. So we're here at the bookstore. Basketball Courts Women's Championship is actually going on right now. But before we go, Abby and Digger, I want to read you some of the team names this year because as us Notre Dame alum and current students know, bookstore basketball can get pretty colorful and pretty crazy. So some of this year's teams, thank you production for these. One of them, hoops, I did it again. We gave Bob Costas pink eye, 50 shades of gray. The list goes on. So I'm going to toss it back to you in studio. And again, we will bring you the winners of those bookstore basketball next hour. Back to you in studio, guys. All right. Thanks, John.